told you guys I was gonna show you guys the house here. Hold on here. Hold on here, guys. So today I got a um, a, a demo sub coming today. Okay. We're basically doing a full, oh my gosh, a full, full a full remodel here, right? Pretty huge project. Redoing all the rooms, not all of them, most of the rooms. I think we got two rooms. And some and some stuff in the bathrooms that we're not doing as well. Floors, like we're not touching this bathroom here. This bathroom's gonna stay, right? Another room here. Basically, the demo company here originally was going to come in here and, and um, when, when I sent him over here, he was going to come and do in this bathroom, it's only the floor, like all this to stand. Um, tile on the, um, that's going up the wall there, it's coming out, floor is coming out. This is stand, the shower enclosure with that tile, that stand. Okay, so basically we're redoing um, everything here. Okay, as you see, we got most of these things out of here, all the flooring, the carpet, uh, my sub. We'll come in here and move the rest of this. We was going to remove this tile, but um, um, she wanted to keep it at the last minute, so we got to do a deduction for that. Uh, kitchen is getting redone, moved around. Um, um, all this is getting changed around, all right? Stove and everything is going to be over here. And then everything else is just getting changed around and wholly new done kitchen. So let's look at this. This might, this, this would be my actually before and after type deal, right? Yeah. Um, this fireplace, these bricks here, is coming off on this side and this side, but uh, the bottom portion is gonna stay in place, okay? Um, this floor is getting removed, even though she's keeping this one here. Uh, this is the floor that's going in here, in this area, and this is the floor that's going in here in this area here, okay? There's a piano here we have covered that I need to build around this. I don't know why we don't have this thing in the garage. We need to put this thing in the garage here. That's what I'm gonna have these guys do today. Gotta to be careful, I don't even know how old the piano is. Um, so that's this project here, basically. Um, we just started this project yesterday. Um, demo should be done. We have to scrape the ceilings. Okay, we got to scrape all these ceilings here. All these ceilings here. Um, um, so that 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 should be done today too. Today or tomorrow. Um, 
All this trash out here will be taken out as well. They get rid of all this. But we just started this one, um, like I said uh, yesterday. Uh, we got six weeks on this. Hopefully we can speed that process up and get this project complete as quickly as possible. Get this owner back into their house um, as soon as possible. Let me open up this garage here. As, as soon as possible. Yeah, I think we're gonna put this piano in here. I think that'll be the best part. See if we can do that. That way we don't have to be concerned with it in there. You know, that's one of the bigger things is you're doing a project with some, um, you know, collector items or antique items or just out items of value for the owner. Um, and then you're having so many people on the project. Um, you know, you, you tend to start to find uh, cabinets broke, you know, uh, windows get cracked and, and no one says anything. You got a best crew. Someone does something and no one says anything. And it's very frustrating. So you have to do your part as best as you can to make sure that uh, uh, you put these things in the, in, in the most safest and protected place initially. Um, and then you can go from there. But, um, you know, like like at the other apartments yesterday, I mean, throughout that project, we've been over there since last year. Throughout that project, so I didn't have a window broken. No one knows. No, no, no one is saying anything, right? Uh, had a window broken. I had a, a, a door or something broken. So you deal with all this stuff. And, um, and the more people you have out there, the, uh, sometimes the more rules get bent or ignored or not enforced. If you're not constantly, you know, following up on that, constantly putting that enforcement in place, uh, you get the neglect. And, uh, and uh, sometimes, most times that's a challenge, especially as you're growing too. So, uh, you know, having that, uh, that strong foot in place just in the beginning with certain items is, is key. I think a lot of you guys would agree to that. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to try to video. That's my goal. I'm trying to turn into this vlogger, whatever that bleep this is. But I'm going to try to, um, I got an inspection today as well. So I'm going to try to um, get the inspection as well for that project in LA, that retrofit for that apartment building. We're going to be starting that this week as well. <clears throat> So I'm gonna let you go with that my construction entrepreneurs. Hustle hard, then hustle harder. Right.